guys, Noah Jai from the Geek Week here, and there's a question I've been asked a lot throughout my life, and that question is, what is my favorite video game of all time? And that's a tough question to, uh, to answer, but if I really, really had to put my brain to it, I'd probably say Star Fox Assault for the GameCube, and I'd like to just take a minute to do a brief retrospective on why that is. And actually also, why we've never gotten a sequel to this game. So without further ado, let's get into it. In February 2005, Namco released Star Fox Assault for the GameCube. And in my opinion, it's the best Star Fox game ever made, ever made for any system at any point. And that, yes, that includes the original. But um, I just, the one thing that always bugged me um, throughout the years about this game is... Why has it never come back? Why has the concept never come back? It was the first time they ever took the original uh, scrolling shooter and um, the third person walk around um, concept they had from Adventures and put them together. And um, it worked uh, beautifully in my opinion. Um, so first off, let's just talk about the plot a little bit. Um, this game takes place after the events of Star Fox Adventures which was inherently a, a much worse game. Um, I do, uh, from what I recollect, um, I liked the idea of it. And I, me being just a giant nerd my entire life, I love dinosaurs too. The whole point of that um, game was when they introduced Crystal to the uh, Star Fox team and they went to that dinosaur planet. I love the idea and I believe the original game that they were going to make for that ended up becoming something I should do a different video on that ended up becoming something else entirely when they originally conceived that game and then later just like kind of picked up the pieces and what was left over and made Star Fox Adventures which is probably why it's uh, not as good of a game cool thing about uh, Assault 2 I'll get into it but they actually had a level where they paid homage to that game um, where they go back to Crystal's homeland and it's under siege uh, from the Aperoids they have to save it so on and so forth um, but I, I believe this game succeeds where uh, Star Fox Adventure uh, had failed, creating an enjoyable third-person um, experience, beautifully bent, blending the three gameplay types being, um, one, the R-Wing, where you uh, your most traditional Star Fox gameplay, where you fly around, it's a scrolling shooter. I mean, who doesn't love it? Um, it's what made Star Fox famous. Obviously, that's always going to be the mainstay. But um, to develop on more and add to it, I just thought was great. They also added the Landmaster, which um, you see it's Smash Bros. actually since, um, but uh, never uh, that I can recall in a game. Um, they, they have been in a game. Uh, we'll get to that. But um, yeah, and then on foot being the third. So you have uh, our wing, Landmaster, and then on foot, all three playable. Most levels... I, I believe, I mean, it depends on where you're at. If you're in space, obviously, you're just going to be R-Wing. And there's a space station that I think is um, just R-Wing and on foot. But um, a good, decent chunk of the levels have all three play types within them. Meaning you can ride the Landmaster, fly in the R-Wing, and travel on foot within that map. Um, and I just thought that was so cool. And um, not to mention, this game is also multiplayer. So for the GameCube, one of the best features was the fact that it was four players. And um, that was like my childhood growing up, having that in my garage and having my friends over playing that. But to have a Star Fox game multiplayer, I mean, just think about now. Even if you take out the other two play types, Landmaster and um, On Foot, and just have traditional scrolling um, shooter space Star Fox, Online would be absolutely sick for that, would it not? Don't know why that's never, um, never come up. But uh, first, let's let's get into the story. Andrew Wickney has uh, consumed his um, uncle's forces, and um, the battle starts off with like a an easy boss battle, just introduction. But um, in the midst of it, uh, Wickney is actually attacked by an insectoid type creature known as Aperoids, and they end up being the um, main villain throughout the game. Aperoids have the ability to control life forms through infection, so they can control plant life and uh, beings um, alike uh, through like infection. It's like a, like a leech sort of thing. They leech onto you and like a parasitic um, life form. They kind of just become you. And like uh, it's all works to like this hive mind 
system where like as soon as you're consumed by it your mind is now a part of one collective and they all answer to a queen aperoid and the game is uh, built on them not only protecting different planets from aperoid attacks but eventually finding the aperoid queen and um, slaying her and um, one thing I might just add just from just because I brought up the aperoid queen um, the final boss battle with the Aperite Queen might be one of my favorite boss battles in any video game ever. Just any video game ever. Absolutely beautiful. But um, since we're talking about the story, I'd like to take the time to acknowledge the writing team. Yoshihiku Arai. Arai? Aroi? <laughs> I hope I'm not butchering those names, but I probably am. Ayumi Shindo and Kazuya Hatazawa. Um, to this day, I mean, I think about uh, scenes from story mode in that game St scenes like um the corneria level where um sergeant pepper is overtaken by the aperoids just a really sad scene when he's dying and that wolf joins up with fox just such a good story for an era where it really didn't have to do that like it really didn't and it was um absolutely fantastic but um yeah, or even, yeah, like I said, uh, that boss battle between the um, Aperoid Queen. But one thing I wanted to uh, include, too, because of the uh, way they blended the three types of gameplay, the R-Wing, Landmaster, and uh, On Foot, they had to kind of um, blend levels, right, in the way that you um, played levels. So there was different, like, parts to each mission and stuff. Some you'd be a Landmaster, some you'd be an um, R-Wing. I just thought that was so cool. Like, for each level to have... Um, different parts and i'm like getting like goosebumps thinking about certain levels the space station level being one of my favorites where you um face uh wolf i think for the first time and you're like going in and out of a space station where you have to like walk around then jump back in your r wing and shoot off and then jump back off so cool but um yeah just such a great game um another thing that needs to be uh brought up about this game without a doubt is the music Good lord, I mean, the music in this game is epic. Epic. And I think that is the correct word to use. Um, composers being Yoshi Arakawa and uh, Yoshinori Karimoto. Um, they did an outstanding job, man. Uh, I think, to this day, I still have the wolf theme from Star Fox Assault on my, um, on my MP3 player when I ride my bike. I mean, it's uh, epic. They took, like the 8-bit soundtrack that you already know and you're familiar with and just made it into a a true a, a true piece of art like it's 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 great like the composing is, is is absolutely great but um it really just leaves me with one question and it's how has there not been a proper sequel to Star Fox Assault I mean in this day and age I don't know how I mean there's just a lack of a variety on switch period i mean uh, just period i mean there's so many things that can go on about it. i don't know how they don't have just a conglomerate on 2d fighters i mean what else can you really run but um star fox in general has been on hiatus for so many years um i should mention star fox was in starlink battle for atlas a game for switch which i bought just to be able to play star fox and act like i was playing a star fox game but it isn't a star fox game it is a starlink game and it is not good it's not a good game and no matter how bad i wanted to lie and act like i was playing star fox i was not so um and usually even like newer um newer installments of star fox like star fox command were really just remakes of the original star fox 64 so um, to think that we've gone this long with such a great character, a great team. I mean, I know Nintendo's known for doing that, but I mean, where has Star Fox been? And I think um, there's no better time than, than the Switch to bring back something great like a three-player type online Star Fox game. I mean, yes, I would love a really good story. You have been gone for a long time, but even if you don't do it, just like some sort of online great multiplayer Star Fox would be awesome, I think. And I just really, um, really don't know why it hasn't been brought up. Um, but yeah, guys, uh, let me know. Get in the comments. If, if this game has touched any of you guys the way it's touched me, let me know. I'd love to talk about it. If there's any other games that have touched you. I've got a few I'd like to do brief retrospectives on. Games that have really touched me throughout my life. But um, yeah, guys. 
Like, share, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.